Hello Virgo, hope you're doing well. Going to do a quick reading for you. Check in with your current energies, see what's going on. This is for anyone who has Virgo in their chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm going to start it off with a Oracle card. This doesn't have to relate to the tarot. This could just be an additional message that you need to currently hear. So what does Virgo need to hear at this moment? This one's popping out. Mural. Be your own first priority. I feel like another sign just got this. 25. Okay, whatever you're currently grappling with, you must put yourself first. When you're on an airplane, they'd always tell you to put on your own oxygen mask before you try to help your neighbor with theirs. That is to say, if you don't make sure your own energy bar is full, then you'll have no energy to give someone else. Be brave enough to admit when we need to take a step back from the demands of others and work on making sure you're okay. which is always great advice. So let's see what Tarot has to say. I am using the Morgan Greer Tarot deck, one of my favorites. What does Virgo need to hear at this moment for their highest good and only their highest good? Virgo need to hear. Oh wow. We got Temperance, Ace of Cups, the Moon, Page of Cups. Very flirty energy. Could be new love. You may not even see this yet with the moon being here. And could be divine timing. So this is whatever is coming in is supposed to be coming in now. It hasn't come in because the timing wasn't right. Two of wands. So a path. Which path do you take? Uh, temperance. What can you tell me about temperance? Oh, I don't know when this flopped up flopped out, flipped out, uh, the full new beginning, taking a risk possibly, uh, temperance, why is temperance here, king of pentacles could be earth sign, doesn't have to be, but this is somebody who is pretty stable, grounded, which is good, and the Queen of Wands. All right. Could be fire sign. Queen of Wands is also my card for somebody who you just find really attractive. This is someone who you have a lot of passion with. These cards are just flying out. They're coming in quick. They're coming in hot. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ace of Cups. What can you tell me about the Ace of Cups? Ace low. Oh, they're going to fight for you. Yeah, I think if they if you haven't heard from this person yet, them not speaking to you is really heavy on their minds. It's kind of a burden. They just want to come towards you and fight for this, for the happiness. That's what would make them happy. Um, could be a Leo. We got Leo energy. We have Pisces energy. Aries, Sagittarius, 
the moon. Why is the moon here? A relationship. Oh my god, the flying out. Four of Wands, also my soulmate card, twin flame card. Doesn't have to be necessarily twin flame, but it's a strong connection. And then this is just clarifying, it's definitely a soulmate connection. What else can you tell me about the moon? The chariot. So it's coming in. There's a lot of fast movement here. Um, so when it does come in, move forward. Don't get stuck in the past. Because the chariot's all about not looking at the past. It's moving forward. Don't get stuck thinking about what has happened in the past, letting that affect your this new connection. I mean, it could be somebody from your past. It doesn't necessarily have to be a new, new connection because the Six of Cups here is somebody from your past. But, you know, a lot of us don't want somebody from the past, so... Two of Pentacles for a Page of Cups. What else can you tell me? Four Cups, five of Pentacles, the Star, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, see, that's what I, I was picking up. Like, you might get stuck in the past. Like, what's happened in the past. And... Don't let that create confusion for you. Don't let that affect how you make decisions now because maybe you felt rejected in the past, left out in the cold, but there's hope with this new connection. So just make sure you stay grounded, that you're not falling into the trap of of being stuck in the past. The Two of Wands. What can you tell me about the Two of Wands? Now this is usually two different paths that you can take. Working hard towards something, working on something. growth, which is also working on something to create growth. What is the other option? What is the other path, I should say? Ending. Could be in a stalemate. Maybe there's no movement right now. Maybe you refuse to make any movement towards the connection because of your past and ultimately it's creating stress in your life or the past has caused the stress, which is why you don't want to move forward with anything. But it's time to end that. It's time to end this cycle and move forward. I feel like you're def definitely going to have better luck this time around. This is something that you've been waiting for. The Fool. Why is the Fool here? Yeah, walking away from anything that no longer emotionally serves you. So take that leap of faith. Take that risk to connect with this person uh, they're definitely going to reach out to you i see a lot of um energy of just not being able to like hold back anymore so if they haven't already reached out they're going to any additional advice oh my goodness four swords take a chill pill don't stress. 
And that could be a great time to really just focus on you, right? This comes back to your Oracle card, really focusing on your own energy. Um, I think this is the best bet to really recoup from anything that you experienced and kind of mentally prepare for this new connection. So I hope this brought some guidance and clarity for you and I'll see you in the next one. Love ya.